Uh, all right. Okay. So we're live. Yeah. We're live on the interwebs on Facebook and YouTube. So thanks very much, everyone. Uh, Louis Love here from the Music Nest. We have a special episode today with uh, the Poetry Collective. And to start it off, the Taipei Poetry Collective. Yeah. We have <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the renowned, the legendary. The <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're keeping the poetry alive here, like, uh, you know, poetry and, uh, you know, the art form as itself. It's been a very long, uh, it's been in the human history for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's prehistoric. It's a fossil record. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, thanks very much. Ni hao, da jia, huai lao yue tao. So, Liora here uh, is going to take it away with the first reading. Yeah, this guy over here. So, um, yeah, take it away, please. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm so happy I made it out of the house today. I'm so happy that I'm alive, <laughs> that I have money in my bank account. It's a lot to be grateful for. Thank you so much for coming out to play with us. We're kicking off a little late, um, but it's beautiful. And earlier, the whole sky was like this perfect shade of blue. Now it's kind of clouds creeping in. Um, so we are the Taipei Poetry Collective. And we have got some beautiful little zines from... These are from our last reading. There are 120. There's some really good poetry in here. All written by poets in Taipei. Um, we have poets that have returned to come visit us and read again. We have poets from, where, where are we from? We're from the US, South Africa. We have, do we have any poets from Taiwan today? No. Later. Yeah. Yes, Hugo. We have people from England. We have, where are you from? <laughs> You're from, okay. Uh, there we go. So if you, if you want a book, please come grab one. Um, Get started. So, Music Nest. So, in the spirit of music and musicality and movement and dance, um, all the poets have chosen poems that speak to this kind of topic. Uh, I've got two that kind of loosely play with this idea of music. The first one I actually wrote about a group of boys I follow on Instagram, a group of boys living in Taiwan that I follow on Instagram. And so my poem is called Voyeur. Are you ready? Yeah? Okay. Voyeur. At home, there's a group of young boys in Taipei. I watch camera phone videos of them in real time, watching cartoons, in bed, constructing furniture from Ikea, laughing, holding each other, mixing cocktails, singing karaoke, dancing, pouting, cutting garlic, putting on lipstick. Garish eyeshadows is making eyes at him. Crooked teeth kissing, crooked fingers gripping. I want to love them too, hold them, drink gin and sit on that sofa and plug my phone into mouth, charge, open legs, tip over. Prayers are still used as protection for loved ones outside belief. On the train. <clears throat> A transparent striped red and white plastic bag brims with tomatoes and strawberries. Pink and red. Smooth brush sweet pockmarked flesh. Two curled up fingers. We all sway. Two children on the train. Sway. Mouth connects mouth, mouth sucks cheek, flicks fingers gently across lips, clean rounded teeth, white and pink, lips translucent, skin pale, brown and pink, cocooned in themselves, dark heads pressed together, we all sway. Spirit fingers are still used as protection on dance floors outside of high school. In that underground bar, 
I watch them dance and try to imitate their moves like a fraud. They can't see me. If I don't tell you, does it matter? See how vulnerable they are, dancing. Chicken skin, wing, elbow, so fucking awkward. Say prayers to keep them safe. I imagine how the one's mother must feel. I saw her on their feed once. Their arms, slung, their arms are slung over each other and their noses squished together. I know Eyebrows has a new boyfriend and Chicken's partner takes pictures. Then there's three. A Japanese song is playing. I should be home by now. Invisibility is still used as protection for bodies outside asylum. That's the first one. This poem is my first list poem. It's called Server. And so the link for me, the, the link to music or movement is more, it has more to do with the, I don't know, the, the rhythm of the poem itself, not necessarily the subject matter. Okay. Server. In praise of iniquity, in praise of impermanence, in praise of revenge, in praise of disgust, in praise of queerness, in praise of defiance, in praise of abstinence, in praise of thought, in praise of fear, in praise of honor, in praise of routine, in praise of destruction, in praise of wholeness, in praise of choice, in praise of theory, in praise of practice, in praise of excess, in praise of limitation, in praise of application, in praise of attention, in praise of desire, in praise of sound, in praise of space, in praise of silence, in praise of fuckery, in praise of despair, in praise of absolutes, in praise of games, in praise of measurement, in praise of accountability, in praise of pills, in praise of splices, in praise of connection, in praise of sneakers, in praise of sunlight, in praise of rainfall, in praise of moon bags, in praise of probes, in praise of red gleaming apples, in praise of internet, in praise of order, in praise of chaos, in praise of umami, in praise of bodies as temples, in praise of bodies as burial grounds, in praise of bodies as accusations, in praise of bibs, in praise of bows, in praise of bruises, in praise of tan, in praise of black, in praise of absence, in praise of time, in praise of maps, in praise of orchids, in praise of my mother, in praise of migration, in praise of yellow, in praise of little deaths, in praise of a naked back, in praise of rest, in praise of open legs, in praise of a good eye, in praise of a good egg, in praise of a good run, in praise of a good man, in praise of pattern, in praise of joy, in praise of service, in praise of electricity, in praise of lack. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! Next up, we have Jeremy. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, to the Music Nest, Taipei, and I guess whoever else is watching. Um, the brief was to bring along po poems about music or movement. I've got mostly movement. Um, I'd like to start with a poem about a friend of mine um, who is an old English guy in his 50s. He's lived in Taiwan a long time. Uh, I often go to the river near Wulai with him. Um, but he moves by the river like nobody else. Uh, he's one of the most graceful people 
I've ever seen scrambling by the river, despite the fact he looks like an orangutan. Um, the easiest way to have a delicious meal is to wait until you're very hungry, he said, hunched over and pot-bellied at one of our breaks after I'd caught up with him, the river running by our side. I'd stumbled in his wake, grasping and sliding, scrambling where momentum was lost on turned rocks and crumbling hand holds, my strength wrong-footed and my balance gone. He finished the banana, turned and set off along the way. Thank you. Uh, this second one is about yeah, maybe, maybe slightly yeah, less yeah. healthy movement. Movement that goes round and round in a circle. It's called, it's called pacemaker. pacemaker. I made myself a hate machine and coiled it round my heart. It could have wound down weeks ago. Instead, it does not die. With words and thoughts, I keep it wound and secret as can be. It would have wound down months ago, but now it will not stop. I use the tick and bitter top to regulate my heart. It should have wound down years ago, and yet it turns there still. I don't know what that was, everybody's a critic. <laughs> This last one is another kind of movement, city movement. Walking around in a big city like Taipei is one of the best and most enjoyable things there is. This is just called lunchtime. I have yellow fever and white fever and black fever and green fever. I see you and I am seen on these streets. Man or woman. I delight in these shapes and colours. I am happy to see you, serious, thoughtful, or attentive, turn to friends. I am happy to look upon you briefly, or to catch your eye, and see no interest there, only a fleeting glimpse of white of eye of soul. I am happy to see you return my gaze, and see a flicker of possibility, along an eye wire entangled. The soul is both in and out of the eye, and I like to see it dance here, between you and me, and from you to these others to me, or to yet more of these others. All of us here, stepping together or alone, alone and together. Thank you. I've got one more, which is, uh, which is not really about movement. It's just about the fact that it stopped fucking raining. <laughs> After many days of rain, they are cleaning the windows against the blue sky. Under the sun, water falls like raindrops, like jewels. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure who's next. And so this first poem, am I close enough to the mic? All right. Um, this first poem is this first poem is rhythmic, I guess, um, which is... <laughs> yeah, it has a lot of uh, gerunds. <laughs> like, I don't, know, I don't know what else to say about it exactly. I didn't, yeah. Um, it's called Sprout. Rubbing my hands over the hairs sprouting from my legs tenderly aching to learn how they grow in all directions and wondering what other questions will remain unanswered, 
skin, teeth, fingertips, all knowing. We took turns taking bites out of apples, getting lost in our back and forth. One by one, feeling sugar saturating, sticking. A reminder stuck in my guts still. We never grew out of doubting our mouths, feeling each word we speak trickle out, tripping on the ones we doubt the most, watering and waiting, dry tongues, wishing, knees swaying, heads falling. A dream is just a momentary lapse of judgment, clouds forming. Salt finds its way to my mouth, drying out my words, crackling like the fires we tended, an open invitation. I wait for you, watching your eyes and listening, breathing you in, time moves slow, lingering in small moments, our small moments between to our big moments moving away from us. This poem is kind of an ode, um, and in the way that odes are musical um, and can be musical, it's musical. I wrote it a long while ago, uh, back when I was uh, like still in my exploratory phase in this city, where I was like just trying to meet as many bodies and people as I could. Um, it's called "Ode to Myself." directed towards the Tinder match that hasn't responded to my message. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> important, important note there, Ari. <clears throat> oh, let me show you that I contain everything. So much love in my body radiating outwards, that karmic radiance balanced energy, yeah, yeah. Let me show you that I am only brilliance, Renoir booty, artistic and fast wit. You don't deserve me, but let me show you. Every inch of this skin is dazzling. Hair and scar and mole and scratch. Every ounce of my flesh is fluid. I dance in the street at night because I feel like the sun. I bike across red lights because I make the wind. If you don't kiss me, you won't know that the air in my, in my lungs is like honey, pouring out and into you. If you don't touch me, you won't know that the sound in my throat is like fire crackling and shh, I'm hot to the touch. Don't you want to submit to my power to lie with me in every configuration? Let me have my way and show me you are ready. Uh, this last poem is also kind of a list poem. It has a rhythm to it. I just picked ones that, words that, like, I think had, like, kind of a flow. And that's, I guess that's kind of music, right? Words flowing together, right? It's called Three Yellow Days. Watch the gaggle of Taiwanese boys in a pool of sunlit sunflower seeds. Remember, coffee, thick blanket of creamy egg. Two, so your heart is satisfied. Server asks if it's just you, and grinning, yes, just me. Remember eyes everywhere, on thighs and face and hair and mouths, opening, stretching, asking. Remember yellow mums break your heart in two yellow pieces. Yellow mangoes break it into four. No worries, love. You'll be back. Scratch at your skin so a rash blooms. Scratch at the evidence that you cannot control yourself. Scratch at the smell of ripe durian in the bathroom stall. Scratch when it disappears. Imagine falling in love here. Imagine a yellow love. Imagine yourself buying yellow mangoes and eating them in your kitchen beside yellow mums. Think about Buddha's hands and Buddha's heads and how many Buddhas are ingestible. Think about ugly elephant print harem pants. Think about pink skin, stupefied faces. Think about motorbikes kicking up a pile of red dust. Think about motorbikes narrowly scooting by the pile of dust. Think about banana fields and loose helmets and think about the poor sap who agreed to take you to the airport by motorbike. 
cash tip to make it worth his while. Kiss the sun. Kiss your own face. Water out your eyes, streaking dusty face. Curse the exhaust you inhaled. Curse your dust-filled ears. Curse the plane for taking you away. Bless the plane so it knows it's not personal. <laughs> Bless your mind for taking you back. Bless the earth. Bless this city for reminding again you are human. Hi, everyone. Thank you. It's good to be back in Taipei. Hi, everyone up there. Um, does it matter how? Probably okay. Yeah, I hear my voice. Okay. Um, so I try to whenever. Oh, thank you. Yeah, whenever whenever I write poems, I try to incorporate some musicality into them. Um, I I really think about like the lyric and like lyricism. Um, even though I don't have any music behind me, I still try to capture some music through ling linguistic connections and things like that. Um, this first one um, even has, maybe you could call it a refrain, like a chorus or something. Not a chorus. Anyway. One more thing. Um, I'm going to take you all on a journey right now. So in time and place, a lot of my poems are also place-based. Um, we're going to go to California um, 15 or so years ago. Hagen Road. We drive past the golf course, horse ranch, span hills, speakers spin bone thugs, whiskey breath, midnight driver, swerves the rusty Oldsmobile, Oncoming car, warning flash, catches birthday smile. We drive, pastures, vineyard patches, night spill, mutes barn houses. My road, soon my home, front yard picket fence and garden that mom chopped down the walnut tree to build. Dim light from the bay window, I duck behind the car door panel to shield my runaway face from any watcher. We drive. We let breeze in to air out the smoke. As a joke, driver cuts the lights. We laugh, our skin off, some dear myths elders tell, some stories of accordioned cars, seat belts, sliced off limbs, puddles, under moonlight, oak leaf carved. We drive, we pray through the next stop sign, a kind of faith. All right, so this one, we're going to move forward in time. We are going to move into uh, the Sierra Nevada. This one is called Reunion in the Forest. At the mountain lion's evening feeding hour, woods around the meadow, quiet and dim, white fur and sugar pine frame the blue wash our waning moon offers tonight. Surfing the valley's thermal shift, Flames from the bonfire we built after dinner, swallow whole each log, carve radiant wakes, heat reaves through cool threads of wind. We submit to the warm braids, wrap arms, legs, faces, begin to pour libations, whiskey and bagged wine race through blood, concoct dizzy stares and kindle skin. Red-faced, we become brazen, scorn our covering rags, tear them so flesh can feel engulfed. Breasts and dicks flop in fits of dance. The coy fill their cups, cover nipples with folded arms or fiddle with flaps, shriveling in cool breeze. First night lovers find shade near the Ponderosa, but without doorknob socks, share glints of light with men crossing streams. Pelvises pushed bushed or bristled or bare, brace at the bonfire's pop. The life-sized blaze before us lifts some substance. Human ether splits into ash, spills down the mountain. For all the danger surrounding us, 
each pair of eyes surveilling from shadow, creatures in slumber, loitering, lurking. We lean into the spring of heat and energy blessing us. All right, now out of the forest and back to Taipei. This one is called Peace Along Danshui River. Here at the water, from beneath a banyan tree, June haze between city canopies, up and down river, bridges suture old Taipei from new, arteries transect, natural and concrete, endless buzz, every road, bus, or motor scooter rush of wind. Yenping Park, paved path, bike chains tick, some couples get away date just moments from the city, but the Sheen Bay Expressway wall masks any rush hour motors as gusts abrading concrete on their whirr back to hearth down in the forest of high rise apartments. Not quiet here, but a break of surface. Bottom feeder burst there. Street lamp gleam caught its eye. Now its gulping mouth sucks at shoreside rush and mud. City's monotone hums. Tidewater ebbs. Thank you. And next up, please welcome Hugo. I'm Hugo, and uh, uh, thanks for inviting me for this reading. And uh, uh, everybody give it up to Ashley and uh, Sandy and uh, Leora for organizing this. And also thanks uh, Music Nest for letting me indulge. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the last time when I was here, I was about to publish my book. So, um, and uh, this time, my return, I am very proudly present my own book called Self Righteous. Okay? Shill, shill, quick shill. Okay, so, yes. So it's a, a little personal collection of my uh, writing career, uh, kind of like a best of uh, type of uh, collection. And I launched my writing career about uh, almost 13 years ago in New York City. And since then, you know, um, I have. Uh, loved using different formats and uh, different poetry formats to uh, experiment uh, topics, styles, and everything. And this time, um, I'm going to share with you, uh, this one is called uh, Slices of Apple. Uh, and it's, uh, it's sort of, uh, I also call it a righteous a cappella because uh, this uh, piece is, uh, actually written by three poets, including myself. And then and we used to perform all together, three of us, because the way we did it was uh, everybody wrote either one sentence or a paragraph. And then we were trying to, using uh, rhyming and different, uh, uh, different feels to put it together. So, uh, so that's why we call it the Righteous a cappella. And Righteous is also my uh, writing group. Uh, I found it in New York City, and it's still around. And we still, you know, occasionally publish uh, stuff here and there. And um, so, I want to share with you uh, slices of apple. All right, before that start, you know, just gotta get some nerve. Mm, mm, you know. Whew. Now, everything feels better. <laughs> Slices of Apple, a.k.a. Righteous a cappella. In a metropolis, brick and mortar rise from the sea. From the Hudson River to Jamaica Bay, concrete embers burn, igniting a skyline. Magic happens, elation erupts, dream flows. 
Newcomers roll out fresh promises. Tulips don't grow from steel. Builders have their muscles tanned and twisted. A rock for a frock, a timber into a chair. No birth anew in the race for green. Everyone is on crack when wheels turn up. On the cobblestones, hustling for a pot of gold. She succumbs to the ashes from the burnings. Stand still, in awe, hold a book of liberty. She'll find enlightenment, then tragedy, between pop-up shops and tension wings, comforts of the haunted and the saved. And yet, depending on a stranger's love, is to ask for trouble. Tripping on ephemeral dreams, first crush hard, later fly high. Colorful yet fleeting, jump from one dot to another. A torch illuminates the hopes for lepers and leeches. Acid tears char the skin of the lonely. This circus welcomes all, 'cause nobody takes notice. Too preoccupied. Streets are hardened for the weary. You is my anger, out of the unnamed, trapped by bitter taste buds and salty tongues. She ain't gentle, yet she righteous. A bite dent left on a sour apple, sweats shed for the faceless, sends applause. A hand job for a handout, merits forgotten. That's the way lo- life goes. Choose wisely. Few are lucky to grace the rainbow room, witnessing love triangle, testifying against a Westland beacon. Some souls still get lifted to windswept decks on the rooftop of Empire State,、uh, State Building, pavements on the bleaker and bowery, littered with empty baggies once contained used needles or leftover lunches, shattered glasses, and tomorrow headlines. Just another number, another heartbreak. Her eyes have seen too much. A junkie shooting at noon in the corner, a tranny beaten up on a subway platform. No secrets, nor shame. Where all can see in fading streetlight, you can sell. You can sell your body and soul at the right price. Get numb pleasure, or die with integrity. A game nurtured by ambition and aggression, if only built with the preaching world's. Words instead, what a perfect place the city can be. Many will bleed, then get to race class, armed, arched in toast. Especially after a major march, we're one and all. In a harvest season, to view this sprawling island from a king's perch, sculpted in finite succulents, pick up the yields tinted in red-handed greed. Stray cats lurk in tenement alleys, claw morsels of dead rats. Why is our appetite for success becoming an erotic derailment to darkness? Anyone can bear witness to the rise of Babylon, taught endless times, gone before daybreak, a hundred stories climbed to skies. Labor of love, shape. Like heart, higher than all trees, or even one's dreams. Lust is to say yes without credence. Love is to say no with confidence. Eight point four million heartbeat cacophonies play out in sort of A minor or whatever tune that sounds about right. Exposed, sold poor with a naked cup. Sleep never comes. Thank you very much. Who's next? Oh, we're taking a break! Yay!、Mm. Is that the break? Is it? Is that the break? Yeah. Yeah. This is the break. All right.、Uh, we're just going to have a little intermission, and、uh, we'll be back at you with、uh, 
Yeah, this is from uh, Burke Giordano. He's up there making balloon hats. If anyone wants a balloon hat, well, you know where to go. Armando knows what to do. He's got the balloon hat. Yeah. Do you want to be funky with a balloon hat? Well, it's your lucky day. You can do that. Go find Burke. He's making balloons. Get squeaky. Thanks very much. All right, could I get everyone's attention again? All right, ni hao, ni hao, huan dao yue tao. We're back, we're back live again for part two of the Poetry Collective, Taipei Poetry Collective. And uh, to start off, um, we have Felix Williams. He's going to play one of his own tunes on the old guitar. Yeah, so. thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, so, please take it away, Felix. Okay, this is called uh, Bubble Tea Symphony. <laughs> yeah. Hope you like it. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> All right, uh, who's next? I only had the one song, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. Yeah. Oh, this is what's going on there, Felix? Oh, thanks very much. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it was. It was very nice. When did you write that? I wrote that a few months ago. Yeah, I wrote that a few months ago. Like, uh, yeah. So, so my deal is I used to work in a bank back in England. I think it took me two years of corporate life to realize, uh, forget it, I'm going to go be creative, you know? So, yeah, just been traveling around, meeting a lot of new faces, a lot of inspiring people, you know, yeah. today yeah. being a very good example. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm really happy to be here, you know? Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. And when did you um, first uh, <coughs> pick up the guitar? I picked it up about, like, say, eight years ago, you know? Eight years. Yeah. Did I, you? Yeah. I think, uh, I know, like most guitarists, I was just doing the kind of, like, I don't know, Wonderwall type, like, uh, crowd pleaser yeah. type the, stuff. The classics. The classics. Yeah. Should you have to start somewhere? Yeah, but um, yeah. I think it was only when I started, like, I think when I came to Asia, it was like, okay, well, I see everybody else is kind of doing a DIY, why not see what comes out. So this one um, I did a few months ago, and every day I just add a little bit more to it, and like, uh, you know, see where it takes me type thing. Not very conventional, but, you know, here we are. Yeah, it's beautiful. No, I really liked it. Very uh, soothing, very effective, you know, <laughs> m music in its, uh, you know, its, its purpose. You're, sure. you're, you're really... You're really know how to do that right <laughs> that, that music stuff to god <laughs> to a greater or lesser degree you know like yeah. um i don't know there's a yeah. wonderful atmosphere right yeah, now so yeah. like yeah mm. any collaborations in mind like do you want to play in bands or anything like what's uh i think my next move is probably um getting an electro acoustic you know like mm. uh i mean feedback's fun and stuff but i think it's nice to jam with people you know collaborate yeah, yeah like, of uh, course yeah, yeah cool all right well and can we find your music anywhere? Oh, it's on SoundCloud, actually, right? Yeah, I put the one song on SoundCloud. There's more coming. Yeah. Um, this is kind of like a bedroom recording I was doing, like, uh, yeah. looking at a few more songs to it. But uh, really great to have an opportunity to play it for people, you know, yeah. like, uh, share it and stuff. So. Yeah, well, thanks for playing. What was that song called? Uh, Bubble Tea Symphony. Oh, the Bubble Tea Symphony. Yeah, yeah, That's, yeah. of course, Bubble Tea Symphony. Yeah, yeah, where's my memory? All right. Well, thanks very much, Felix. Yeah, uh, wish you the yeah. best. And, uh, yeah, please... Play more, write more, I want to hear that. All right, so we're going to continue with uh, the Poetry Taipei Poetry Collective um, here in Taipei, Taiwan at the Music Nest. Yeah, so who do, who do we got up next? Sally! Sally, Sally, Sally. All right, a fine human being is going to come up here and play us, play us. Oh, do you want to get down? No, do you want no, to get low? Not really, no. Huh? Get down and low, you like that? No, I'd like to raise the microphone. All right, I don't know what I'm going on. All right, great stuff. All right. All right, yeah. All right hold on to two minutes here, though. Just got to raise that. Raise the bar. All right, what, how high are you? All right, all right. All right. <laughs> what did you take earlier? Okay, grand stuff. Put that over there. I wrote one of my poems in colored pencil. Oh, that's... That's great. That's great. Yeah. I love the colors myself. All right, Sally, please take it away. All right. Yeah. Um, Put that there. Yeah. We can speak a bit later. You can introduce yourself. Okay. Whatever you'd like to say about yourself. All the right. mic is yours. Okay. Thanks for coming to the music us. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming out. Um, I'm Sally. Um, none of, I have three poems. Um, none of them I've read in front of like a group of people before. Um, so, so, like, like in my mouth, my mouth is a little, is a little sticky. sticky. No, 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 I've drank it. Sticky. Uh, so, but uh, please do bear with me. Um, uh, I, I don't know much about rhythm. Um, but the, I, I looked it up, I googled it. The light from the sun, it takes eight minutes. To, to, to get, get here. here. And, and so, so I, I, kind I kind of, of like thought, thought like, it, like it's like boom 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 I mean it's like constant, constant right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like it's like, it's like dark for eight minutes and then like, like here, here it comes. comes. But, but it kind of is like a rhythm, right? Um so I like to look at that on the Google. Um so I like to look at that on the Google. Um uh this first poem is about a conversation that I had with a bird on my balcony. <laughs> Just wait and see. Um, it's called 
Uh, knowing the birds come to the window. Knowing the birds come to the window, I can't see out. Knowing they can't determine what if anything might live within, they flock still. Blue magpies, beautiful and cruel, red-eyed glossy starlings, invasive, sing song in a way many deem a nuisance. Once a heron even, heavenly distant, whose careful grace I caught only in shadow ambled across the balcony to find the remains of a tiger-head bee I'd warily watched lay motionless for more than a week and snapped it in two in its jaws. Only by the sound the body made, the light it diffracted, could I know any of this. Say it with any amount of conviction. The something to be said about something that stands in the way exists in the ambulations of a whistle. The blind whistler that may yet return, invisible bird, an echo eventually, doing as echoes do. Thank you. Uh, thanks Thank to Kira, Kira for the colored pencil, pencil, so I didn't have to read that off my phone. Um, uh, this uh, next, next poem I wrote uh, uh, during the, the National Global Poetry Writing Month. Um, it was from the Abacadarian prompt. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but it's um, their poems that you write where each line um, begins with the, the like, following letter of the alphabet, like A, B, C, E, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, and uh, so that's kind of a rhythm, I suppose. Um, it's about my grandma. It's called uh, Past Rooms in the Memory Care Ward. Again and again and again, beginning with her hand draped over my shoulder, ice cube half swallowed in a hotel room where convinced I might die, she placed her lips to my throat and spoke. For first the rhythm of her patience, the sound of her breathing, geriatric then in that its meanings are forgotten, hectic and splayed as a springtime in which the next day disappears unless juxtaposed alongside its antecedents. Kentucky where she came from, Kentucky in all of her lamentations, her memories, in the tobacco fields necking her first husband's cheeks or when my older brother was born and she worried the cradle cap from his scalp or when she noted with silent gesture each place in the hallway she'd have liked to stand or linger about in the warming air. Perfumed with quotidian drama she at once can't recall but feels by rote like susurrus coming southern summers and alphabet septums or sonic sanctums truncated into familiar faces on budding trees under repetitive melodies poked out a grand piano vocabulary falling in volleys of shiftless rain. Yes, the spring is coming. There will be cold water, Zurich one, a green at once both, yoke and echo, a flower and a flower and a flower, then zoneless, all blooms fade. Um, this last one I wrote, um, I, for, there was a, for a time I like, uh, was writing a lot of poems about Unix. Um, <laughs> um, uh, and, um, in Europe in like the 1800s and like early 1900s, 1700s for a time, they, uh, were like, um, cutting, they were like cutting off the, you know, um, they were cutting it off for, so like during their, like in their prepubescence, so that their voices would have, uh, when they grew. And of course, like, you know, the Bible is like, uh, a woman should not spoke unless it's spoken to. And yet here I am. Uh, they, uh, they, so they would like be able to sing in the church and have these like really crazy voices. Um, like they would really insane voices, um, but there's only one one person, um, supposedly the last of these singers, uh, Castrati, um, ever recorded their voice. 
Um, and so I think it's like interesting in the way that, um, I mean, they were like made as like tools of worship, um, and yet they were unable to like procreate. So they weren't able to kind of come up with that like secondary rhythm, I suppose. But um, this one dude was like, you know, fuck God, I'm a, rec- I, I sing good, you know. <laughs> um, so he like recorded his own voice. Um, uh, and there actually is this recording on YouTube, um, which a lot of people say is not quite, uh, not exemplary of like what their voices sounded like, but it still does. It sounds um, like stretched and uh, metallic is the way I describe it in the poem. It's it's really beautiful. I would recommend looking it up if if you're interested. Um, the title of this poem is. Alessandro Moreschi, for the sake of posterity, records his peculiar voice in the bowels of the Vatican. No children, a cherub, you'd remain. Holy, halfling monster, chest full of devil's blooms. A shrill slip in the hall of old words, your songs. Dressed in this grimy metal machine. Ornament. A ghost glaring at you a while pulls a peony from his windpipe, falls to his knees in worship and withers away. No, not your songs, but your servitude. The priest clearing the phlegm from his throat. He is human. You wipe his jowls with your sleeve. And the congregation bursts into terrible applause. Hear another hymn. Make it hollow. Make it see-through. Your voice like quicksilver venomous and slick, your lungs unbuttoned, your unblooming god bellows, your spell-casting flesh balloons. Accept what love you are offered, for there's hardly a difference between loving this body and loving what all it can do. Whoever, give it up for whoever comes after me. Mm-hmm. Who is it? Is it Ari? Oh, Ari. I need that. Do you need to adjust me? Oh, yeah. How are you? bird. Let's see something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Birds are waiting. Yeah. We're going to need them for this first one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Oh, my God. Such a beautiful view from here. Such a beautiful view from here. So this first one, been writing a lot of uh, silent lines. So we're all going to write one together now. This one is titled Saturday, June 2015th. What day is it? Saturday, June 15th at 6.04 at the Music Nest, Taipei, Taiwan.
Try to hear the farthest sound that you can. And then pull it really close. They're talking to us now, it's good. All right, thank you. Um, okay, this next one, this is like, a, this is a very old poem actually, but um, I wrote it uh, during that whole 99% stuff. When was that, like 2000? not 2010 no, 2012 11 yeah i was still in college um this is kind of a um i don't know maybe it's a manifesto it's called lately it's been about let's make a goddamn plan we'll call it lately it's been about or micro universes of oration Let's make a plan to take care of this constant give, take, take, give, to space, to aloneness, into the wow, the I'm not thinking, I am living, I am loving, I am giving it all up for. Lately, it's been about the universe in me, about the disavow. Lately, it's been about this brain, this body, this life. This is my life, this reality in this universe. Lately, it's been about the specifics, language learning, patience, solidarity, sadness, departure. There is a brain inside this meat sack. There is a soul inside the brain. There is a heart calcified with my heart. It's been about the, oh yeah, sing it to me. None of the above listed things matter because you are, you are a brain, body, mind, life, reality, universe. You are, I am a universe. Lately, it's been about the dissolvable me of what does he, she, we know if in fact I don't. I, I really don't. I know, I feel, I think too much. It's time to give it all up. Throw them up. Throw them up. It's been about dancing with the moment. This is a moment. Can silence be measured like miles on a map to equate the length of a moment? If miles equaled the duration of time, the absence of sound, and the weight of that silence akin to elevation, such as the incline of a mountain, how big would yours be right now? Show me with your hands. How big is your silence? Show me with noise. Mm. Measure it with feeling. That is the lately it's been about. Lately it's been about antonyms, the balance of silence. It's been about the breaking up of the other you to find me to be alone to be. Thank you. Um, and the last one, I wasn't going to read this, but in the spirit of what seems to be a theme with rhythm and noise and music and all of that, a list. Um, this is what Santa Fe, New Mexico sounded like for me in the winter of 2014 when I was deciding, the moment I decided I was going to move to Asia and had no reason to do it other than it was far away. But you know, it's interesting because now I'm going home for a visit this summer, and this is the first visit I've gone home to, and uh, not to Santa Fe, but to the States. And I feel not confused about being here. So that's, that's powerful, and I hope that you all have some moments like that right now under this Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Moon business that's happening. Santa Fe, New Mexico, USA. Change is the marked movement of time. Fall turns to spring, then summer, then fall again. This happens one and a half times. 
I make lists. Company kept, wine drink, goodwill glasses, nothing matching, food cooked, new bed sheets. Bed sheets. Showers without the touch of water singing dissonance. I watch him wash himself. Bags of green vegetables, we never cook them. Days off, laundry mat, clean clothes. Savings, bank account, money is material for time travel. I learn to teach how to teach people how to speak. I divine Asia and I begin to look for jobs. I want to see what my body looks like when everything is opposite. I gather materials for my raft. Undetermined departure date. I think about languages I want to speak. As I watch my clothing spin and spin in the metal drums, I turn my thoughts around like the water in the machine. I work doubles at a coffee shop. I come, home, I come home and he has cooked dinner. He fries chicken. We commune over the meal that pressed its seal into us. Brown rings on the collars of his shirts, our friends always appearing at our front door. Whiskey on the kitchen table, bread rising, tea steeping, hairlines and waistlines, riverbeds. Thank you. I don't know who's next. Hello. Hey, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming today. It really means a lot to us all. And uh, OK, so uh, this first piece, you all actually kind of helped to construct this, whether you know it or not. And rhythmically, I guess I could chalk it up to like a freight train. <laughs> so let's see, let's see. <laughs> this is called Search. When are taxes due? When are you available? When are women most fertile? Why am I always hungry? Why am I so tired? Why am I so gassy? Why am I so lazy? When will my life begin? When will I see you again? When will I die? When will the sun die? How can I tell her? How can I help you? How can I live without you? Will he come back? Will she stay or leave? Will she cheat again? Will she miss me? How much in Mandarin? How much protein per day? Please help me, God. Please help me lose weight. Please help yourselves. Please help me, Google. Please help to. This is a reminder. This is America. This is why I'm broke. This is a Christian server. This is a man's world. Can't you see? Can't you sleep, little bear? Can you hear me knocking? Can't you see I'm busy? If I were a boy, if I let you go, if I die young, if I lose myself, will you press the button? Will you marry me? Will you remember me? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you stay with me? Will you or won't you? Oh, we love algorithms. Yes, we love Google algorithms. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so this next piece, I actually chose it because, um, well, when I was workshopping it, uh, one person, one, one of the poets uh, noticed, am I standing too close? Oh, okay. Uh, one of the poets noticed a lot of the INGs in the word, so I, I feel like there's movement, there's a few references to some musicality as well. Um, and this is also maybe potentially part of a chat book that I'm... Working on slowly, it's coming together. Okay. Like a good sister, I inspect your mouth, sealed and seething. Words regressing down your spine like a sonata. I watch the pill hit. Your face flushes. Spring flickers before me. You become fresh as a lily picked and laid on a closed white coffin. Like a good sister, I take your contorting mouth, pulling it closer, a small sound behind your jaw. I am listening to a cool river running, listening to your teeth spill like rice from a shop-worn sack while you sleep, trying to bury the sound, trying to stand upright. Like a good sister, I am holding you, diving headlong through dry waves, ready to finish all your sentences, which pass over us as dawn passes, hushed, 
cyclic. Thank you. Um, yeah. So, next person. <laughs> Hi everyone, Hola. let me order a bit my stuff, uh, alright that will do, okay, um, a little bit, how does it work, can I make this higher, is it possible, yeah. don't want to break your, that's good, you don't need to be too close. No, this, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this first poem is about uh, painting. It's about the color black, because I paint using black ink. And uh, in this specific one, I tried to describe my work. Uh, and I thought that using poetry was a bit more clearer than just using theoretical, classic theoretical speech. So here we go. As a child, I would always expect the next collapse. Low blood pressure, when blue and green inevitably descend to black, the impossible color that looms behind the surface of the ordinary. You are afraid of the night, but you carry the night inside you, black, beneath your skin, behind your every move. It digests, it processes, it pursues without you its final intent. Tonight, there is an earthquake. Lie behind me still. Secure my back with your chest. Press your ankles on my thighs. Let's feel each other's blind spots and watch the long approach of the walls and ceiling. Behind the thin layer of yellow paint, there it is again pressing on the cement and rebars the color black of things about to fall. Toes tightly clenched on the edge of the diving board, we look down into the obscure matter where unfolds the greater aspect of time, but find no place to land. We live on the trembling surface of things. Tomorrow we'll check the paint for cracks, as you trace now with the tip of your fingers circles around the new defects of my skin. Um, this next one is about my mother and more specifically it's about a story she told me about I think it was 10 years ago about a weasel that she brought home to take care of. It was an injured weasel and she brought it back home. Yeah. Let's, here we go. My, My grandmother, grandmother gave birth to three children, raised four. She cared with a bourgeois elegance, elegance and smiles that brushed away a child's insomnia or a family's dirty secrets. Of the three sisters, my mother was the bravest, and she was smaller than the boy, so she was the one grandma would send to clear dry roots and dead rats down in the septic tank. It's my mother's week. My dad brings us to her new house. They chat. She leans close to him and finds something on his jacket. There, a loose thread. She gets her sewing scissors and cuts it. My dad's gone. She sits me down with a cup of linden tea. Her stenciled green eyes open wide. Oh, do you know what happened last week? She had found an injured weasel in the forest and brought it home to spend the night before seeing the vet. But the nocturnal animal walk bit its way out of the cotton box and there it was, caught by the light, watching her, half asleep in her nightgown, two black eyes about teeth showing, bloody white chest panting. She moved, it ran, crying, nails screeching against the baseboards, the dark windows, leaving long red trails on the white tide floor. 
she couldn't follow with her naked feet, her sleep hours sleeping before the 20 kids to teach. She cried, but didn't scream. She cursed the ungrateful, pathetic shit, her hands searching for a grasp in the air. It is here with her, hiding somewhere in this, hem in this empty house, her house. She listens. There's only the quiet humming of the fridge. My mom gave birth to three, to four, three children, and she raised three. Of the two boys, I was the oldest, so she got some tools to let the little man fix a few things, build up some shelves. That night, she took the hammer she had bought for, for her eldest son, and when she finally caught the weasel's tail, before it could turn around, there, 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 I saw the three cracks on the white tiles where she beat it to death. And this light one is a slightly lighter, lighter tone, I hope. <laughs> Um, but it's very important to me because I'm, as, as many people, I guess as everyone, I'm very interested in the question of time. And I think most of time actually, as we perceive it, is quite boring or is just very long <laughs> and uneventful. And this poem is talking about that. It's called uh, Around Christmas. I carefully maintain the uneventful in good supply Triple A batteries, toothpaste, 10 months mature American cheese, and the final reply in the cashier's line, I'll be exit five, holding a blue umbrella. We borrow each other's affection, and you watch on the ceiling my green and gold papermobile turning. It's cold. I keep my voice running deep under your neck. You fall asleep, and trust me to wake you up. How dare you put me in charge of watching alone the next five minutes go by? I can't go anywhere, now that I have you. Your whole amount, eyes closed, lips ajar, hips while you left them under the accident of my palm, under the green and gold paper mobile. It could be our Christmas tree but I leave it up there turning just the same all year round. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, hi. Thank you for coming. Do I need to be? Uh -huh. Yeah, thanks. That's exactly what I was going for, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, okay, hi. Um, so I think the three pieces I'm reading all kind of speak to the theme of musicality and movement and rhythm. Um, they were all written in April, which as some of you heard is uh, Global Poetry Writers Month. So the first one um, actually follows a prompt um, there was a Japanese writer who wrote a book called The Pillow Book, um, and it was, I think she was a, like a lady in waiting for an empress around like 1000 AD. Yeah, good. Um, so um, this is a list as well. Things that cause me to love the colors yellow. Yeah, more yellow, right? We should have curated this better. I did a bad fucking job. Okay, so... The type of star that is our sun. My hair, if I had to choose a crayon for it. Mustard, although spicier, is more akin to brown. Complementary to indigo, but hard for scientists to define as such. Gold bangles, runny yolks, mac and cheese of childhood, mom's recipe with shells. Vintage thick knits, how it looks with periwinkle, the impossibility of hating it. My Pilates ball, 
my beanbag chair, my obnoxious headphones blaring beats to keep me moving, the temptation that comes with caution tape, my default mental image of sand. The right lighting is never white, plus white wine really isn't very white at all. Leaves soft but dead and falling. Legal pads embossed in black ink. The pages of the books which smell the strongest. Twinkles lost in turquoise. My goldfish dead at eight years old. Bananas with great grandpa in the morning. Applesauce before I'd learned to chew. My inability to wear it well unless it's a deep hued. Autumn, ancient art, saffron, pineapples in styrofoam in Saigon. Hints in ginger, cumin, turmeric, city lights. The satisfaction that comes from hailing taxi cabs, yellow bending to me in the rain. That submarine, the magic school bus too. <laughs> My first examples of alleged gender neutrality. Play-Doh, nachos, that six-foot sunflower of my weekend youth. Number two pencils, my New York City Metro cards. Beaks, glaze, the chalk prints on my grade school teacher's slacks. Curry, but not my favorite kind. Gildedness, gaudiness, the feeling of light in a window seat. Communication, how I know it'll go with crimson. The light off the Atlantic as it hits your pale eyes. Clarity, joyfulness, the guitar pick I never used enough to know. Ikea bags full of hopes for playing grown up. Giraffes. Lemons, being seen, being bright, being wanted. It's hints at creaminess. It's refusal to not help me to see. Got no more hat. Thank you. <laughs> um, this next one is called Dance Floor, and I wrote it while I was at Organic, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> East Coast winding, aim your body for descent. You can imagine now you're safe among cascading cloud cliffs. Subtropical spring is unimaginably warmer, wetter, swoon right here. Grayscale waves finally admit they're really blue. Waves swole imitating muscles. Muscles glisten, imitating sea strength. A salt mouth dry with lies. A belly full of filth. A bottle no longer filled. Minuscule evidence, the color of eruption. Take note as dampness thickens every rim. Vibrations propelled a sheer loss of self. Gyration set to ache and stones intent on pain refused. Infuse yourself in deeper rhythms, ignoring that you're curiously blistering, skin tearing back promises of redemption. You loop in lost words made more impossible by the sound of gush, gush, swarm, that minuscule crab saved from torrential techno stomp death on our first night, only to transform into that young woman's starlit snack. Which pieces of summer rain absorb amongst such richness? How are apocalypses painted into such wetness? Buried sand. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and um, this last one is a villanelle. And if anyone writes poetry, you know what a fucking pain in the ass a villanelle is. Well it's a villa hell. There you go. Well so. Done. 
So, um, first five stanzas are three lines, and then a quatrain, four lines at the end. The first two lines in the first stanza need to alternate as the last line in the other stanzas and then go again at the end. Um, and the, the Global Poetry Month challenge was to not only do this, but to use opposing ideas and to take a mashup from lyrics from other songs. So the example they had given was, um, if anyone knows Morgan Parker, she's quite a good poet. Um, it was parts of her poetry and B.I.G. and Beyonce. So I'm not that cool. I used, um, I used um, Arlo Parks and Uni. Um, so if any of you know these songs, you will hear them as I go. It is called Unwanted. I couldn't make you fall in love with me. Unwanted orchids, you left me ceiling dazed, so now I don't really care. Solo sheet tossing, semi hoping you'll appreciate me. I know it's kind of dumb when morning's done and I couldn't make you fall in love with me. Ignoring plans and heaving hope left to my own devices. I felt a built up. If you feel it, it could be meant to be. Nah? No, I don't really care. I find you sucking smoke, eating words at the back of the party. I'm speaker bound, begging you to come my way, but I couldn't make you fall in love with me. You were running round, rain drenched over there. I got myself soaked waiting for you to embrace me, so now I don't really care. Take your sighs, swoons, needing stares, elsewhere, elsewhere. Are you better, babe? I couldn't make you fall in love with me. Now I don't really care. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mrs. Woodside. <laughs> Should I have... <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that. Oh, well. Sandy, that was wonderful. Yeah, that was really great. Yeah, yeah, is it? No, no? To be a bit more royal, formal? Isn't poetry a bit more... All right, maybe I got confused. Mrs. Missy. All right. Grand. Well, that's about it. I have a reading. I'm going to do a reading, yeah. All right, it's not my own reading, though. I, I've written about one poem in my life. I have to look for it. I, when I find it, I'll, I'll let the Taipei Poetry Collective know. But for now, I'm going to do, do one of my, uh, my favourite poets' poetry. It's a short one. Uh, so let me just get it here. All right. All right, let's have a, let's have a wee... All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here it goes. Oh, there's a loud sound there. That's grand. All right, that's not grand, it's grand. Here we go. I will arise and go now and go to Inish Free and a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there and a hive for a honey bee and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow. Dropping from the veils of the morning comes dropping slow. There's a midnight all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway, or on a pavement's grey, I hear it in the deep heart's core. So thanks very much. That's uh, the Lake Isle of Inish Free from WB Yeats. So uh, <laughs> uh, thanks very much, everybody. Uh, you've all been fantastic. Uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for Burke Giordano there, chilling on the couch. He's uh, responsible for this mad hat parade. And uh, maybe we get the poetry gang. Ashley, you want to come? Uh, Sandy and Leora, you want to do a finale of whatever? A finale. <laughs> come on up there. Come on. We should. We should get a photo. You, would you, Asuka? Would you get us a photo there with the 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 the? the, 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 the
Should we? Yeah. What should we do? What should we do? Should we? Should we do an improv limerick? Are you sure? Oh, sh- all right. All right. I hope you're not offended by that. You know. Oh fuck. Well, it's not. It's not a proper event without some offensiveness. I'll kick your ass from around live. I'm all right. All right. So thanks very much, Taipei Poetry Collective. It's been wonderful. Yeah, thanks for all that. Yeah, we need a bit of that as well, you know. Yeah, please subscribe and all that. Follow us on the interwebs. We keep doing this uh, about once a month. And uh, we love to support the arts. I hope you do too. Thanks again to Felix Williams on the Git. And uh, yeah, big ups, Taipei fam. We love you all. Shia Shia Yeah. Thank you. We're going to do another big in the fall. Not sure what time Otherwise known as autumn. 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 Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. Cam's over there. So, you're all fucking beautiful. I shouldn't curse. I said fucking, not fucking. All right. Okay, good night. Thanks very much. Early evening. What is the time? I don't know. Are we on time? We're very on time. We are 20 minutes early, which is perfect. Now we go support Joel. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, Let's shout go. out to Joel. We're going to go to Ivy Palace and check out Joel's thing. He's got everyone there. Yes. Broken robots. Yeah. That's it. He stole yeah. our audience. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you. What happened there? You're in the camera. Six potatoes in his sacks. <laughs> Sexy sacks. Oh. oh, and Devon Boy presents the show but he's gone to relax <laughs> and the only thing with the music nest is, is the neighbors aren't too keen they leave the notes on the issue's door they don't grow the scene <laughs> You're quite a sore if I ever saw such to leave a note on the door. I tried the best to help and invite for the music nest in life. Ta da! Hi, I'm Helen, and this is my painting. It's Bella and Lee. <laughs> okay, you can say this is Belle. You can introduce me and then I'll just... Hey guys, this is Belle. Hey. So... It's on. It's on. It's on. Hi, I'm Belle. <laughs> and the celebrating. The clouds and the team, bro. Over there's the face, isn't it? With the team, bro. Also, the trumpet's one of my faves, Bob, innit? Got that with the fly spikes and thing. <laughs> then there's the two, the god thing. That the make god me, Misha worried about that religious thing, thing in the nest and thing, bro. That's Elvis' piece. <laughs> Thanks for watching, fam. <laughs> Thanks, <bro. laughs>